Yes, of course. Hey everyone, my name is Jessica. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So for today's video, I'm actually going to be telling you guys some of my favorite audiobooks. Now, a little background, like history on me and audiobooks. So, in... Obviously, when I was younger, audiobooks weren't, I don't think they were a thing. As I got older, and I, after I would hit, was like 18, 19, honestly, I don't even know when audiobooks really became a thing, but when I first started reading again, I found that I wasn't really into audiobooks because I felt like I couldn't really pay attention to them, but sometime mid last year, my opinion changed and my life has been opened and I've been able to read more because of audiobooks so today I'm gonna to be telling you guys some of my favorite ones and some of these I'm not gonna lie are pretty basic because they're favorites for a reason but let's get started so this first one's probably gonna come as no surprise to you guys it is a favorite for a reason it is clear it is also a very much newer book but this audiobook that is one of my favorites is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. It is a full cast. I love audiobooks with full casts. Um, it just brings the story alive more. You no, know, this is told basically as um, a set of interviews slash like story time for the books and I really enjoy the format and I feel like the narrators just really help draw you in. Especially like I said with the full cast. I, I enjoyed, I think I loved all of them thoroughly enjoyed reading the audio or listening to the audiobook um it doesn't deter me from enjoying the book yeah I think that if you're going to read Daisy Jones and the Six and you have access to an audiobook I think you should listen to it because I think it just really helps you listen to the story more better to be honest more better hmm English really highly recommend the audiobook for Daisy Jones and the Six. Okay, so this next one, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit of a cop-out, first of all, because I haven't finished the series. Second of all, I didn't listen to the whole audiobook, but I, from what I did listen to, I really enjoyed this audiobook, and that is The Illuminate Files by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Like I said, um, at first, when I was listening, when I was gonna read the book, I was going to only listen to it, but my friend but some people they were like no you should probably probably read it because like the formatting because it's um, multimedia how the book is written it can be a little bit confusing because there's also like little notes on the corners of the pages which I agree um but from what I did listen to because I got to like page 50 I think for the audiobook and then while I was like, I'm mm, just going to read the physical book. But from what I did listen to, I thoroughly enjoyed the audiobook. And then next time I'm going to read this series, I'm going to be listening to the audiobook while following along because I think it'll be a really cool experience. But yeah, like I said, I did listen to the audiobook. I did enjoy it. So kind of cheating, but still recommend it. Um, so this next one is one that is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly popular among people giving their opinions that you should listen to this audiobook. And I don't have this book because I loaned it to my aunt and I haven't gotten it back. Also because I haven't seen her in a long time. But that is Sadie by Courtney Summers. This is told in the form of a podcast, first of all, and also like in the in the in Sadie's point of view first of all it's really cool listening to podcasts I just started listening to podcasts earlier this year and no late last year and I really enjoy them um but also you can hear like birds chirping and there's more than one narrator for this series each time the person who runs the podcast is speaking to a member that was involved in Sadie's life um there's a different person so it's not just a one person conversation and he's just the narrator is just changing their voice actually other people talking like they're having a conversation which i really enjoyed this audiobook so this next one could also kind of be seen as cheating just because i haven't finished um just because i haven't finished this series either but the first two books that i have read i really enjoyed and that is the diviners by libba bray um I really enjoy listening to the audiobook first of all because you again I'm it's I believe it is like a full cast 
no it's not I'm lying um but it's really cool listening to the narrator speak like with the 1920s accent and using the lingo that they use in the 1920s it's just very entertaining and then also even first of all in the diviners like the book in the first one there's like this song that gets sung and it sent chills down my spine it was so good so creepy love the series and i love these audiobooks so this next book is a very 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 i really obviously i really enjoyed this audiobook um but that is Pride by Ibi Zaboy. The narrator is actually Elizabeth Acevedo. She just has a really great way of speaking her cadence and it's just like it all her words just flow together so nicely. Um she does also does poetry just magical. So if you've if you haven't read this book because this is obviously a Pride and Prejudice retelling uh, the character is Afro Latinx and so and so is Elizabeth Acevedo, so it really brings the characters together, or it really brings the characters to life as well. So I would highly recommend you guys listen to Pride. This next series, I actually don't have the physical copies, but that's something I need to fix. But that is the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. I really enjoyed the narrator for this series. He just... Okay, so the thing is, he was voicing... Because I think when Percy started, he was like 11 or 12. And clearly it was it was like a kind of grown man but he played Percy he voiced Percy very well uh, I also enjoy the narrator for the Heroes of Olympus series but I prefer the narrator for Percy Jackson and the audiobooks were very easy to go through it still kept my interest and I was able to stay concentrated on it again so my last one that I am definitely cheating on because I have not finished the book but I have started it um your book at least um but that is Aristotle and Dante I highly recommend this audiobook because from what I have read first of all it intrigued me the audiobook because it is read by Lin-Manuel Miranda and I love Lin-Manuel Miranda so yeah I'm kind of cheating but from what I have heard of the audiobook I'm enjoyed because he just has such a passion for words and he just like really brings the emotions um to life with the series but yeah um i'm going to be reading hopefully i'm going to be finishing that one very soon this month who knows if i'll actually do it so that's it for today's video if you guys have any suggestions on any audiobooks that i should listen to i'm constantly looking for more because that's how i get my reading done when i'm driving or if I'm just running errands, be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.